Good day, you guys, and welcome back to another fabulous vlog with Nadine and Daryl the Ruffies, guys. So Nadine is just taking her gravel for the ferry because we're in the lineup to get on to the ferry. Oh, there's with, room for us. With carbonated water, guys. Yeah. I'm just going to keep drinking this to help push it down. Mm -hmm. But it's two. I'm going to show you what I took. But it don't say non-drowsy or drowsy. I'm taking the ex I'm taking the exact. I don't even know where that's from exact. Is that from like Dominion or Walmart? What is it? Ginger anti-nausea, nauseous, na nausea tablets. Yeah. So that's it. I took two of those. I'm hoping it's a half hour before we board. Mm. And we're going to get on the boat and we're going to get across. So I hope your guys' day is going well. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to capture a little bit of footage on the vessel. Yeah. Once we board. Yep. And my bubba. Yep. Let's just shut the car off. What do you think? Hey, okay, quick. Wow. So. So we're just in the lineup, literally, like on the road. Um, what are from Nova Scotia? Mm hmm. <laughs> so we're getting ready to board. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to Fogo Island in like, how long? How long? Well, it's been some while for me, it too. Last time we both went with each other, didn't it? No. Oh. I had to did go we for work go, one time. Did we ever go together, me and you? No. Oh, is that me and you went together one time? No. Oh, okay. We must have went with another man or woman. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm talking about you. I know. Mm-hmm. No, no thanks. At the moment. Good choice. So, boys. We just finished some apricots in the last video. If you didn't see it, you might want to go back and see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, what else is new, my son? Nothing else new. We just oh, this where's, guy just passed us all. Where does he think he's going? He's going to change islands. Oh, he's you got to stay in the left lane if you're going to change islands. Pulling out and passing us. Um, I'm right snackish. You're not hungry, are you? Well, there we, go. we can share that kinder. You want to share the kinder? Bueno. So we had a kinder in yesterday's vlog. It's all good, please. Um, yeah. We're going to eat the rest of this kinder. Mm -hmm. Can I feed you, my bubble? Maybe we'll shut it off because our battery's getting pretty oh, low. Yes, that's right, that's right. Okay, guys, so we're going to shut off the camera for a couple minutes, and when we get on the boat, on the... Or boarding the ferry. Or boarding, we'll get that in footage for you guys, too, hopefully. Yeah. Because our battery's getting low, and when we get across, we have to sit for a bit somewhere and... Um, charge everything. Charge everything up. My phone is almost dead and everything. Hmm. So. Okay. Catch up with you guys in a little bit. Have a bite. Nom, 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 nom. So here's the Fogo Island Ferry, or it <coughs> could be the Change Island Ferries. <coughs> so apparently we were just, I was just talking to one of the people in the lineup and she went down to the booth and uh, they told her it's going to be another four hours or so because the ferry apparently is broke down and it's going to take about four hours to fix it. So we're going to be a little while in the lineup. As you can tell, people's pissed off. They're turning around and leaving. So I'm just gonna head back to the car and see what the wife got to say. So you guys, we're just giving you an update. We're still in the lineup here to take the Fogo Ferry. <clears throat> the Fogo Ferry was here, and they had to get a boom truck to. Apparently, one of the engines went in the Fogo Ferry. They took out one of the engines. And now they're gone off with the engine in the boom truck. I'm not sure where he went. Then, I guess, she left right here to the mainland. And now she's gone back to Fogo Island. Empty. Empty. Didn't take no passengers. She flew out of here. She left, put up her ranch and just left. Yep. Which is a waste of trip, as far as I'm concerned. If she's going, she could have took a load of vehicles over. Now, we heard lots of different rumors about the, yeah. the ferry period. Mm. Um. Yeah, she's been breaking down and a lot this year, apparently. Well, since they had the boat, they, they, uh, the, the boat was five years old, and the boat cost like 50 million bucks. And they're in uh, repairs, they're after putting 100 million. That's what rumors have been going around. Mm -hmm. 
She'd been in St. John's up on Dry Dock for months and months and months. Mm -hmm. But what's the story that somebody told you not long ago that she had to leave here to mainland to go over to Fogo. Mm -hmm. And when she gets over to Fogo, uh, she got to be plugged in or something? Yeah, to like a generator or something so they can work on it. In Fogo. In Fogo. But they don't have it here on Newfoundland. Mm. Like, it's all Newfoundland, yes. Yeah, but to the mainland, connected to, like, the whole Newfoundland island. Yeah, right? like, they can't connect her on this side. Yeah. But over on Fogo, they can connect her. Yeah, which sounds so hilarious altogether. Hilarious, It yeah. don't make sense, Unless but... there's something we're totally missing, and you guys know something that we don't know. Because yeah, yeah, to yeah. us, general people, it just sounds like... So funny. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, so we've been sitting in the lineup. It's now uh, seven. seven minutes after seven. And we've been sitting here since, is it three or 3.30 today? three, three thirty, something like that, But yeah. you spoke to a gentleman down at the beginning of the lineup, and he said he was here. He's from what? Gander Bay. Gander Bay, yeah. And he's been here since this morning. This morning, yeah. And the boat wasn't working last night either. No. So it's kind of chancy if we're even going to get on this crossing tonight. Yeah. And the crossing going over tonight, you guys, is at 8 p.m. So it's another hour. Mm-hmm. I'm getting right antsy sitting in the car. I'm right like, <laughs> <laughs> we get out of the car, we get in the car, we get out of the car, we get in the car. Um, we're supposed we, to get updated at seven and seven minutes after seven. This, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I love you. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, we didn't get an update yet, did we? No, not yet. No, we're still waiting on the update. So I, I just want to go to the bed. We'll go to bed. You're we, at your bed. I know, but we can't go to bed <laughs> because we might have to move the car. Yeah, that's right too. Oh, they're so funny though. Most of these people on this in this in this lineup are all from Fogo Island and to talk to all the individual people, their mm. their accents are very different compared to ours yeah. from where compared to where we're from in Newfoundland, eh? Yeah. And before we knew anything about the boat, I went down and just wondering like when we could get on, when is the departure because the boat was already there, right tied up. And I thought it was just waiting to just to load on or whatever like that. And I said, what's taking so long? And I said, what's going on with the ferry? And Buddy said, it's the crew. He said, it's not the ferry. It's, it's the crowd working on oh, yeah, it. Yeah, he was mad about the crew. Oh, he was pissed off yet. Mm -hmm. He said, you watch now. He said, they're going to fix, try to fix the boat. And they couldn't fix it. So then they had to go to Fogo, Fogo Island. That's what the people were saying. I said, going to Fogo now. He said, near Ranch, near nothing out there. Mm. He said, you're at the mainland. You're an hour away from Gander, which Gander got all kinds of tools and all kinds of stuff to work on the boat. But then they just put up the ramps and then you went to Fogo Island. They woke up to like a generator to fix the boat. And what was it they had to go get something from St. John's, but they wouldn't get it in Gander? Like a boom truck. Like to take the engine. Like, there's all kinds of boom trucks in, in so, Gander. So you got, yeah, so Gander, again, is an hour away from here. Hour? Yeah. And St. John's is about, what, four hours? Yeah, like three and a half. Yeah, about four hours. Four hours right? from here. So, oh my goodness gracious, it don't make sense. A lot of things don't make sense, but we just have to wait and get updates. And there's older people in the lineup, and my heart is really, like, broken because mm. I don't know if they have lots of food and stuff on hand. And mm -hmm. But the minute we go to, like, give so-and-so a... A, food, a piece of drink, uh, a drink or something to eat or something. Uh, there wouldn't be everybody coming there. I feel there. like we're going to have a flock at the car. <laughs> and I mean, we have a little bit, but not not a lot. No, not for everyone. We've no. got enough for a couple people. Yeah. If we had to, you know. Oh. We feel sorry. Yeah. People left last night. That's in this lineup. They were in this lineup last night, and they yeah. left them and drove back to Gander. Yeah. And then they came back here today, and now there's still issues with the boat. And what was it was going on with the boat? Was it the motor? The engine or the something? Engine. The engine, yeah. Well, they're after having lots of complications with this boat. This is not the first episode. No, no. Like, this is... Like, she's been in St. John's, up on Dry Dock, in the shipyard and in there. you're talking about over years, though. Not over years. The boat is... They only purchased the boat five years ago. That's it. Yeah, so over the past five years, she's yeah. been in St. John's. And yeah, stuff. like, yeah. yeah, broke down all the time. But we're going to get on a good, safe uh, journey tonight. Crossing, yeah. Yeah, crossing, get across tonight. Yeah. We have to. Mm -hmm. If not, we're across the Marmar. So we're going to have supper tonight. We just ate a bag of chips for lunch. Yeah. Or a snack. We're going to eat supper <laughs> tonight, Daryl. Oh my gosh, what are we going to live on? I don't know, my dear. I need some lots of stuff there to snack on. Skeddy. Skitty. Skitty means you got the bowl of water and it's yeah, so Yeah, but it's windy. almost dark, man. It's so windy here, too. I know. It's so windy. It almost needs to be in the lawn for that, you know, because we like, got the light propane. And then we got a, a big fuel tanker ahead of us. Yeah, just show them. 
Just show them. What it's is like, it? It's two people away. It's like an SUV, and then we got a little big old hanger out of us. There you go. So lay the match around that one, Billy. Yeah. Gosh, that would be dangerous. So you guys, this is the lineup way at the back. This is the back of the lineup here, and then this is our car here. Hey, Daryl. And this is the lineup way down here. So we have quite a lengthy lineup just to go to Fogo. So we're hoping to get on soon. That Ina's going to do her job. Going to do her, her wee wee. It's as dark as you can see. It is 8.34 p.m. And we are just about to board the Fogo Island Ferry. Ferry. We're in our comfy little blankie. We were getting all snuggled down for the night, but um, we were getting all snuggled down for the night. But then the two vehicles ahead of us is the what? And it's an oil tanker ahead of us. So you guys, you heard it. It's the oil tanker ahead of us. He did something with his brakes, and we were half falling asleep, and we heard him. And so finally we go, oh, we clue in that, oh, he's moving, he's moving. Mm. So when we seen him moving, we just start the car, and here we are. Yep. Yeah. So um, the rumor is that we might be getting on for free because we had all had to wait so long. But um, We're not 100% sure yet. Not 100% sure yet. I say when we get across to the other side, I think we're just going to stay there at the terminal or whatever like that or sleep in our car or do something. Yeah, for sure. Because I don't see the sense of traveling all throughout the island because we can't see nothing. Or we just see the roads. And I'm not going to travel nowhere tonight. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It don't make sense to travel. It's too dark. If we can't see the beautiful scene, it'd be like pointless to drive through. It yes. It wouldn't make much sense. Very pointless. So... So true. That was my gorgeous wife and it looks like she made a friend already. She went into the terminal to use the washroom. We got our ticket all paid for, and now we're in the lineup. The ferry's not here yet. So the traffic ahead of us is uh, the traffic for Change Islands, and we're in the lineup for Fogo Island. That was your little pee break, my little baby. We might not be getting on tonight. Are the, you serious? The lady I just walked up with, but, we're, we were talking to her earlier. She said to me, she said, Maria, we might not be getting on. And she said, the Undertaker's there, literally, from Fogo. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. She said, somebody died. She said, his white car's at the front of it all. She said, he's somebody had to pass. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not good. I guess he gets top, you know, priority. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. But, uh, oh, my God, I'm frozen. Okay. <laughs> so we might not be getting on. But she said, buddy at the booth said that when he sees a big deal like this going on where the, tr the boat has been laid up for a bit. Mm -hmm. She said they usually try to pack on a bunch of extra, extra vehicle, ones? Okay. vehicles. But I asked her, I said, how many does the ferry usually take? And she said, uh, 60 usually. But she said, you got three or four or five or however many of these truckers, like the truck transport trucks, and yeah. they take up like four or five or six vehicles for each one. Well, that's understandable, yeah. So, but there's a lot of vehicles that are trying to get across. I hope we get across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's up? What were you talking about while I was gone? I was just telling them <clears throat> we got all the ticket to get on to the Fogo Island Ferry. Yeah. And uh, the ferry left over at Fogo to come back to the mainland, according to... The mainland, you guys, is like over here on Newfoundland side. Yeah. Yeah. According to um, Buddy at the Boot there, mm -hmm. where we purchased the ticket. Yeah. The ferry left, what is it, Cord de Nine? Yeah, that's what you said. So that's 15 minutes now, so it's Ooh, I almost should, 20 minutes. I should take my gravel. Yeah, you can, yeah? Yes. Oh, she said that truck got ahead of her again. Buddy. Oh, wow. He put on a single white and he came on in ahead of her. Wow. So she said we're behind them now again. Yeah, it's a bit of a ticket, I think. 
Well, he's just, I guess, I don't know if he's, he has the right. I don't know how the store really went. Yeah, I'm not sure But either. he sounds a bit, yeah, he sounds like something's yeah. different. Yeah. Anyway, takes all kinds. So she said, I'm not sure if we're going to get across the night. And I said, what? Mm -hmm. and so anyway. So like we said before, the traffic that's ahead of us is for Change Islands, which is, it stops at first. So I guess uh, the traffic that goes out first loads on first, you know. Okay. Nadine is taking her gravel. Again. Again. So the last time I took it was 3 or 3.30? 3.30, I think so. And you're only time. allowed to take four in a day? Yep. Um, and I want to take it a half hour before we get on. Mm -hmm. But I hope we get on tonight because if we don't get on, then I wasted two more again. Well, we can wait, I guess. <laughs> but I don't want to wait, and then the, as soon as the boat goes, this is not in my system enough, you know what I mean? Because it has to be in your system a half hour for you to leave. Yeah, well, so time to, we'll know half hour before. No, we won't. Will well, we? time we all loads on, then we all got to get out of our vehicles and go up on deck. So what do I do? Should I take it or no? Because it's only an hour ride, Yeah. 40 minute ride over, but I just don't want to get sick. So I'm going to take it. Okay, go ahead and take it. Yeah. So there's my two gravel guys. Yeah. It's not drowsy. Okay. I'm right there in your hoodie, look. I'm so hot now. So you guys, we're going to shut off the camera now, and then yeah. we've got our gravel in her. I have to go in the trunk and get another can. Okay. Can, Sounds good. Can you just pop the trunk for me? Yeah, we'll do. So you guys, it's 9.42 p.m., and look what we have here. Can we see, babe? Yeah. The furry. The furry. She's in, Bon. She's in. She just arrived. Yeah. So we're kind of excited. Still not sure if we're getting on tonight's ferry or not, they say. Um, they're not sure, so we have to just wait and see. What do you think of it all, Daryl? I think this is marvelous. Yeah? If we do have to stay tonight here at the terminal, it's not a big deal, or in the lineup, whatever. Mm. Because then when we get to board on the more morning ferry... You guys will get to see everything. We get to see everything so much better. Mm. But we may be on tonight. But we may be going tonight. We're and the, la sure the last time you went and I went separately years ago, um, the last time you and I went separately years ago, right? Yep. We both went over daytime, hey? Day, Yeah, we had day crossing, yeah. Yeah, I never got to go over in the nighttime. Me either. So, and I'm not sure, you guys, when the ferry docks over on Fogo Island side, um... If that great big um, hotel. hotel is there right away or not. So, do you know if it's right there as soon as you dock? I think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you can see it as the ferry is like docking into the terminal over the Fogo. Okay. I think you can see it off in the distance a little bit there. Okay. So, I think. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think you can see it there. So, anyway. whether we get there tonight or tomorrow, you guys... We'll try to get it, even if it's tonight or um, tomorrow morning. But you're still going to get to see it tomorrow in the day. Or, yeah, tomorrow regardless in the daytime. You'll still get to see the um, hotel. hotel. Or in that Fogo or something, whatever it's called. The expensive hotel. Yes. That, like, all the movie stars, Oprah Winfrey. Um, uh, it's like $5,000 a night. And it's a minimum of three nights. Yeah, you like have that. to book, which is $18,000. Not including uh, your expense to get there, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, if you got that much money to spend on a room or stuff like that, you're not worried about traveling or getting exactly. to Exactly. Yeah, you have money. So one of the rooms, apparently, we were just talking to one of the residents from Fogel. And one of the rooms out there is like $5,000 a night. And the rest of the rooms out there, it's uh, $2,000 a night. Yeah. So the cheapest... Uh, right, 
It's two thousand dollars a night. That we know about. Yeah, that we know about. Yeah. Not sure if any movie stars gets a discount or not. I don't, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I really, doubt it. I wouldn't really say so. You never anyway, know. We yeah. might run into some celebrities that's around Fogo that, That's what some people told us. They said, "Don't be surprised. You might see somebody famous on the streets." And I'm like, "What? Yeah. You wouldn't think they would be allowed or would go, would want to go out in the public." But like they said, there's not many people runs up to them or whatever. So. Mm. And it's fully booked. Apparently, there's thirty, 30 rooms. rooms, and it's like fully booked, guys. Fully booked, yeah. Anyway, we'll fill you in much more tomorrow when we get there and all that shiznick. Yeah. So, um, yeah, just hang tight, you guys, and we're going to see if we're going to get on the boat or not tonight. Mm hmm Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hope you guys can see us. Yeah, we hope so, too. In the dark. <laughs> if, not, if not, we won't put in half this footage. Oh. Well, really? And there was stunned. We should have turned on the light Why like that, Why four? Well, thank you. Why four? See, Why four? Anyway, you guys. Night, night. Almost night night. Vehicle number one. What is it, guys? Truck? Truck. Truck, yeah. Vehicle number two. Going to the terminal. There you go. You gotta have a pee break. Yep. Number three. So there are cars getting off. They had a good load over there. Right on. Snookums, get us on the boat. Get us on the boat. way over here. Yeah. So we made it on board, you guys. We are at the very end. Like, I've, well, we're on the angle of the last row over, what, one, two, three, four, fifth, I think we're the fifth row over, the last row over to the right, mm -hmm. and we're the very last one at the very end, aren't we, honey? Yep. Oh, my Lord. So, the tailgate, when it goes up, is not going to hit that rear end of our car, is it? The ramp. The ramp. The ramp. Is oh, of it? course. And I, we're a mall away from that. Are we? Yes. Oh, my gosh. We're right at the end. Mm -hmm. I've never been in this predicament before, you guys. As you guys can see, it's going to be a full load. It's going to be a full load. We're a full load here. Hopefully we're gonna be off in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's 40 minutes. I think it is. Yeah. It's crossing. They didn't get her gravel into her. Yeah. I'm which is marvelous. Which is great. Oh, the lady walked in the back washroom with me. She's on too. Her oh, vehicle. good, 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 yes. great. Yes, awesome. And the guy with the load of slabs, he's on. Yep. <laughs> she gave us a thumbs up. God love her. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So, should we get out now? Or well, no? I don't know if it's safe to get out now, or do we wait, oh, or what? Everybody else is out. Okay, okay, we're going to get out, and we'll probably see you guys on deck. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Sounds good, yeah. On deck. What's happening, Daryl? <laughs> well, we're going in to change all this, and the thrusters is just giving her, you know? Which means? Like it's just slowing the boat down before they bust the ramp down, you know? So, before the passengers can get off, as you can tell, it's very quiet. Yeah, really. <laughs> so, we're going to move to the back end of the boat, right? Yeah. Because this is the front end. And this is the bow. We're going to head to the stern. We're going to the stern all the way. Yeah. We're going now. Before she starts to take off again. Ready? Yeah. 
<laughs> so where are we now, babe? We are at Fogel Island. And we're about to leave the boat and get on dry land again. And then we got to leave and turn around and come back and do all this again tomorrow? Yeah. You better have crackers for me tomorrow. Yes, I will. You promise? What was your trip like on the way over? Disgusting. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Might have a better trip on the way back. Yeah, we will. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get a little place there for, I guess, the kids to play in the boat. A little thing there. So nice. You should be in there playing, baby. That's right, too. Get in there. I think some of cross on this one. Oh. Row, you, one? row your boat, baby. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the street. <laughs> You could. Up. Yeah, right. <laughs> you could row my boat any day, oh, baby. Come, up a bit yeah. come on, let's get off this vibrating boat. <laughs> you didn't tell everybody about the TV. Oh, the TV was. Look at her shirt. Look at her now. Oh, it's nutty now. She was just a vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll clean it up in a minute. stomach just swaying with the boat yeah. but uh, I said to Daryl a couple times didn't I? Oh, yeah. At first we sat at the bow yeah. and I could feel every single wave whoop whoop and I said to Daryl as soon as she stops oh we're leaving already? Yeah. I said as soon as we stop um, we have to sit at the stern yeah. and we sat at the stern and I felt my stomach like not my stomach rise but I could feel stuff in my chest or something like you know when you go to swallow, it felt like stuff was starting to rise coming back up. Anyway, it didn't feel good. No. So, uh, we're getting ready now, you guys, to get off the boat. And so, it's dark. It's nighttime. You guys are not going to really get to see too much. No. But, um... We're going to stop at the terminal for the night? Or just stay in our car at the yeah, terminal? Yeah, And then get up tomorrow morning and just... So, we're leaving the boat, you guys. I'm going to show you guys getting off the boat.
So you guys were officially at Fogel. Uh -oh, Fogel Island soil. Yep. So dark, you guys probably can't see this, not sure. This is the boat we got off of last night in Fogo. Um, we drove into Fogo a little bit and got some rest, but we thought we'd come back this morning and show you the boat um, that we got off of last night. So that's what she looks like right there.